Hey, today we're making a southern style, you know, potato salad. I want you guys to come in and take a look at this right here. If you want to know how to make this, stay tuned. And guess what, folks? It's super easy. Now, as you can see, it's not a whole lot of ingredients. You know what I mean? I left them in the jars. But as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. The Branch and Vine Bacon Sea Salt. Check it out. It's vegan. And that is the real level up, folks. All right. So look, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this part right here because this part will be key. You want to go ahead and cut down your potatoes, right? So, I already, obviously, I've already peeled it, right? Now, this is the way I cut mine. You guys do what you want to do as far as what's best for you because a lot of us know how to make a potato salad also, right? So, we know how to do the potatoes. For me, this right here is the key. Notice the size that I'm cutting them. I want to keep them all about the same size, right? I don't really worry too much about the, you know, the size of them. You just want to get them like a bite size. That's, that's really like a big bite size. But when they get soft and as you tumble them, they start to go, uh, they start to like just erode and put your potato in your mix, right? So I'll do this. Now, just to keep away from like boring everybody, you know what I mean? We got them like this, right? I'm just going to put these here. And I'm going to show you what I did already. I've already boiled my potatoes. Let me get those and then I'm going to show you how you want to test them. All right, so look, you know, we always do the two pick, two pick test, right? You don't want these to be like super, super soft, but you want them to be able to be like this. And then if I just turn it just a little bit, it releases. These right here are perfectly done. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to go ahead and, you know, cut down my celery, right? I just like to start off with my ends. I've already cleaned these. Uh, some people just cut off of this. For me, I like to see it where it starts to transition into green. You know what I mean? And uh, I just hit it like about right there, right? This part is totally up to you. I just think when you're making potato salad, you want to go ahead and get some kind of bite, right? It's about the texture. You know what I mean? I like to have a little bit of the crunch in there, so I cut these down like this. Just so I don't bore you guys, you know what I mean? Look, I've already just diced down my onions. Look at the size. Now, that part is up to you, but if you just want to have just a little bit of the crunch, you just want to do it the way I'm doing it right here. All right, so look, now we're about to get down to the good part, folks. Hey, so this is what, uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, it go like this. If you look down in the description box below, I'll give you guys like a base. It, it'll say one to two cups of mayo. It depends on how many potatoes you have, right? So we're gonna go ahead and just get it started. For the amount I have, I'm gonna probably start with about, about a cup, cup and a half, you know what I mean? Just to get it started, just to see. Now, when you make a potato salad, you gotta remember this part, folks. You can always just add a little bit more to it, you know? So look, let me go ahead and just start this, you know, major debate, right? Tell me down in the comment section below which mayonnaise is the best. Is it Hellman's, Duke's, or Best Foods? Now we'll go ahead and add some relish. You know what I mean? Just, just a little base right here just to get it started. Again, you can look in the description box below. I can give you the measurements and we can just start to get it to be the way we want it to be. That's really just a start, right? But I do it like this and it'd be a little loose, right? Oh, and I got to say this. If you guys pay attention to that right there, it's sweet. I want you guys to talk to me down there because I've heard people saying they make it out of deal. Some people like to add a little sugar in there. Let me know down in the comment section below how do you guys make yours. Don't sleep, folks. This right here, you got to have this. Just give it a little bit of that, you know, that color to it and it give it a nice little twang to it. I don't know how else to say it, right? But you can see, we just mix it like this. And again, you know, when you put the relish in there, it kind of like loosens up. I have in the past, it depends on the brand. Listen to this, it depends on the brand if I want to go ahead and strain some of the sweetness out of the, you know, sweet relish. And I'm gonna tell you this too, the number one relish that you want to use is, which I don't have none right now, I'll put that down in the description box below, it's called Salad Cubes Relish, right? That's the sweet relish and they're a little bit bigger. That right there, along with the texture from the onion and you know, the celery, mm, fire folks. Now, pay attention. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this here. I tell you, I like a little crunch. This is right now, I'll just see how it is as I mix it, right? Just to let me know. And I like, I don't know what the ratio is, but I know every bite, I wanna get a little bit of that onion, some of that celery, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna show you guys the real trick why when I make it, everybody wanna know like, hey, what's happening? I thought I could never top what my grandmama taught me how to make, but I got a new ingredient for you folks. Now, as I'm, you know, mixing this up, and putting in, you know, my texture, you know, my veggies, 
it's starting to like stiffen up just a little bit, but it really gets stiff, you know, and gets nice like the potato salad that we all know. Once we add the potatoes and we tumble it around as we fold it over, the edges start to get smaller, you know, start to come off and mix inside of this. I don't know if you guys can't tell right now, but check it out. My mouth is just going, I'm smelling it, and mm, this is gonna be, I ain't gonna say nothing, you guys just wait. Okay, now we got this right here. This is our base. I'm looking at this and looking at my potatoes. I might need to add a little bit more to it, but that's what makes the potato salad so great, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and take, you know, my hard boiled eggs. There was no need to show y'all that. You guys all know how to do that. It might get a little noisy, so I'll keep, keep my talking down, but I turn my water on about like that, right? And then I just go ahead and just, you know, peel them like this. Now, when I tell you guys I got something good for you, I'm finna take you back down memory lane. I don't know. I don't know if your grandmama did, which I'm sure she did. Look at what I'm finna do. This is not the safest practice. I gotta say that. But look, we finna go ahead and just cut these down like this. You know what I mean? You wanna be careful because when you cut through the yolk, you know what I mean? You want it to just go through and glide. You don't wanna cut your hand. I want you guys to pay attention to the yolk. This is the way I like my yolk, a little bit more on the softer side. Some of you guys probably like it to be that, that lime green, you know, over hard boiled eggs or something like that. But this is the way I'm gonna do these, just like this. Now, you guys do yours the way you want to. Cut them down, let's pay homage. For those of you guys that are new, we can go ahead and cut them on the cutting board. But for me, boom. Now, you guys see this right here? Now notice we haven't put no seasoning in here, right? None whatsoever. Now I got two ways that you guys can incorporate your seasoning. Boom, check it out. Creole kick, if you wanna go to more like the Southern way, you know what I mean? Or you can use from my Level Up series, look, the A series right here, right? You know, I got an A and a B, but this right here gives us a nice profile. Either way, these products right here go great with it. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit. And you know what, I probably should have said this right now. If you guys don't know, you know, both of these products are low in sodium and that, that plays key, especially right here in this, uh, in this potato salad. You know what I mean? We just wanna mix it in. You wanna see the color, you wanna see some of the flakes. I do everything in increments. This is why I have never have a fail. And if you know the motto of this channel is, is simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Now, just the fact that I'm not even gonna taste it yet, I told you it's low sodium, right? Now look at this right here. This is branch and vine, this is the baking salt, right? Listen, this is a vegan product and it allows you both of these products, whether you're using Creole Kick or my A series, right? You guys can just go ahead and just add a little bit of this right here. This is what sets it over the top, folks. You know what I mean? Cause this would be just, about three pinches and I'm loving it. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna just do like this. And you guys can tell me what you think. Don't it look like potato salad already? But we finna thicken it up now, folks. Real simple. Okay, so look, before I finish cutting these down to even smaller pieces, I just wanna show you. Most of my pieces were this size. You know, they kinda like vary. I do cut them down like this. It's up to you. But the purpose of me cutting them down small when I was boiling them so that they all be ready, you know, faster and at the same time, right? Now we just go ahead and just start adding, adding this in there. You gonna might as well add it all in there. Ain't no need playing with it. You know, trying to figure it, you know, cause I always tell you a little bit at a time. Now we making potato salad, folks. I ain't gonna say nothing. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just cue the music. Now, you guys can look at it like this. You know what I mean? You can cut your potatoes down as small as you would like, but this is what I like. And I like to just keep folding it over and working it in. Now look at the thickness, folks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife, I mean my fork, and we finna just go ahead and get us one. You know what I mean? Uh, I wanna get a little bit of, ooh, my goodness. It's so soft, it won't even stay on there. Cheers, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of my seasoning on top. It'll take just a couple of more pinches of this bacon sea salt. Mm. Fire. Hey, and a pro tip. Make sure you got yourself a bowl big enough so that you can do your mixing. 
that's really, really key. Now, find yourself a way to display it, and we're gonna put it out like this for everybody. Okay, so now we got the finished product. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these, you know, green onion tops, just add a few here on here. I'm gonna get me a thumbnail, folks. You know what I mean? And then uh, we finna just move on. Okay, folks, you just seen how easy it is to make. Really, it's about customizing it and doing it the way you like, right? What I did was gave you the, you know, the, the basics. I gave you the base down in the description box below, and then we worked from there, right? Key is getting your potatoes right. Showed you guys how to do that. You know, we hit it with the toothpick, and you know, we do that. But remember, it's really about the way you like it. This right here is fire. Now you guys know. And this right here, which is smelling incredibly good. Look, this bacon sea salt just sends it right over the top. With that being said, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here. Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? We about to feast. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.